Shalom, <clears throat> excuse me, Salaki. Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel. Shalom. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rukaha Kadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, Shalom, right? It's your brother Shapai, right? So, I wanted to come back in, man, and I, I, you know, they've been going back and forth this week. It's about, you know, keeping the law and can you keep the law perfect and everything? Are you doing all 613? Um, things perfectly according to, to to the scriptures and if so is that all you need so by that logic Yahweh Shai was sacrificed crucified died went up on the cross endured everything for nothing if if all you needed was to find out you're an Israelite and that was it let's bring the scripture out Sakari don't make no sense man Romans chapter 8 verse 1 There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach hath made me free from the law of sin and death for that the law Romans 8 and 3 for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. The Most High sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin con condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteous, the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do, do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind these has the dagger men, Sakari murderers, the dagger men that got sticks. They got guns at their camp, spray painting trains and all of this shit. Rap videos, rapping about his Mercedes Benz and all of this. And how GMS was hating on him because he got a Benz. For to be carnally minded is death, but the spiritual minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Lord, neither indeed can be. Yeah, man. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. So Sakari is definitely in the flesh, man. And by, by their logic... You don't need Yahweh Shai um, um, sacrifice crucifixion. He did all this for nothing because Sakari could keep the law. That's why they say that, oh, if you say um, Yah Bashem Yahweh Shai, you are idolaters. You you worshiping idols. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they're crazy, man. These are the true depictions right here. This, these are the true depictions that of, 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 um, the, the crucifixion. Let's get a salaki. Let's get a couple more. Let's get out of it. Let, we, Cause these guys don't make no sense, man. And so he doing a, a, a lesson, and he uh, just like when with wearing the hats. You out there and, and reading scriptures with fitted caps on. <laughs> Isaiah sixty four. <coughs> Excuse me. Salaki, so like Isaiah 64 and 6. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, 
and our inequity inequities like the wind have taken us away. Yeah, man. We like filthy rags, man. We've been sinning all this time. You might have been doing all of the shit that you was doing in the world prior to you finding out or waking up remembering that you're an Israelite. Then just like that, you keeping the law. And you could just disregard the, the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, right? Hey, they don't make no sense, man. They don't make no sense, man. Psalms 22. This is a spirit. Where is the spiritualness? And just keeping the law. Where is the spirit? Where is the belief? Where is the spirituality? And just keeping the law. Where is the spirituality of the scriptures if you just disavowing Yahweh Shai, man? Psalms chapter 22, verse 16. For the dogs have come past me, they assemble. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones they look and stare upon me. They part my, my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O, o Yahweh, O my strength, has, has thee to help me. Yeah, man. Deliver my soul from the sword, from darling, from the power of the dog. Yeah, so this is what Yahweh Shah went through, man. This is what he endured. But he didn't need to do that. It was it was him just doing it for not just wasting his time, man. What is that? Sacrifice in vain. Let's let's see if we get that one. Yeah, man. This. this Don't make no sense, man. See if I can find that one. I don't think I wrote that one down. Just lock it. Let me see if I can find it. I should have got it before. Yeah, here you go. Galatians 2 and 21. I do not frustrate the grace of the Most High. For if righteousness come by the law, <laughs> then Hamashiach is dead in vain. See? So this is what Sakari is teaching. Sakari is teaching that Yahweh Shav died in vain because they got the law. Galatians 2 and 21 again. I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh, for if righteousness come by the law, then Hamashiach is dead in vain. See? These guys don't make no sense, man. Let's keep reading it, man. Let's let's keep reading. Let's get some more scriptures, though, man. Because these dudes, man, they are definitely vexing. 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 John 19 and 34. Yeah, man. Make no sense, man. <laughs> Sitting here watching lessons and I'm just thinking about it. The more you think about it, it's like crazy, man. This is um, John chapter 19. Let's start at 32. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first and of, of the other which was crucified with him. But... When they came unto Yahweh Shai and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. See, these are the things. So you got to think about what he went through, man. He went through all of this, but it don't matter because Sakari got the law. All of this that, that the Most High sent and let his son go through was for naught because they got the law. The Pharisees that gave him up back then had the law. They don't make no sense, man. They don't make no sense, man. 
And if you out here trying to figure out different camps and all of this and this and this and that, man, you got to look at these type things, man. Matthew. Let's go Matthew 20. Twenty-seven and I don't want to make it too long. Let's start at thirty-three. And when they and when they were come unto the place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of skull. This is this is where Yahweh was crucified, right? They gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall, and and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucify him and part of his garments. We just read that in Psalms, right? Tw cha um, 22nd chapter. And they crucify him and part of his garments, cast in lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spro spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there, and set up over his head his accusation written, this is Yahweh, king of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Yeah, this is the picture right here. This is the picture right here. But Sakari don't need this, man. Sakari don't need this. Yahweh went through this for naught. Because they got the law. They don't have to show no respect to Yahweh And they could keep the law perfectly here. Which is a lie. You not stoning no moles. You know you ain't wearing the phylacteries with the scriptures in them, to strapped around your wrist, the, the leather straps around your wrist, all the way going up to your head, with the scriptures tied in the front of your forehead. You not doing that. The lamb that you eat, and you don't know if it has blemishes and all that. And knowing how the meat industry is, they selling you any kind of lamb, any kind of meat. You're not observing the, the land Sabbath as far as vegetables go, where you're supposed to, on the seventh year, you don't supposed to pick the fruit off the tree. You're not observing that. You're not observing the mixed fabrics thing, where mixed fabrics and all of that. Man, it's a whole bunch of laws that you're not keeping, man. A whole bunch of laws. What's Judges 5? Let's get Judges 5 and 11 before we get. Let's get Judges 5 and 11. Let's get that. Let's get that. Heads, man, they they got no they they not spiritual, man. They are carnal, man. Sakari, the daggermen, the murderers. They are still them dudes, man. Like he said, this is what Alazar said. They are them dudes, man. Judges five and eleven. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers and the places of the drawn water. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitant of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Yeah, man. Rehearse the righteous acts, man. Rehearse the righteous acts. So, yeah, the GMS ain't saying don't keep the law. Yeah, you try to keep all of the laws to the best of your ability, you can. But you need to understand that the laws on itself, and we just read that in Romans. Romans, the eighth chapter. The laws by themselves is not going to do it. Because the, the people that was pushing the laws back in, in, in Yahweh Shah's days, they was against Yahweh Shah. And they knew the laws perfectly. Better than you know them, Sakari. Niggas don't make no sense, man. They don't make no sense, man. They don't make no sense, no sense. Mark 15 and 24. Let's get there. This again, the same, the same thing. Mark telling the story. And they bring him unto the place, 22. Mark 15 and 22. And they bring him unto the place, Golgotha which is being interpreted the place of a, of a skull and they gave him drink wine mingled with mirth mirth but he received it not and when they had crucified him they parted his garments casting lots upon them that every man should take yeah man and and it was the third hour and they crucified him see 
So you have the account of 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 Yahweh Shai Hamashiach getting crucified in the scriptures and why he was getting crucified, what he had to go through, all of the torment. But they don't believe it. There is is not not even not Salakin. Not that they don't believe it. They believe that it's it's really not a big deal because they got the law. And he done already said that worshiping Yahweh Shai is is um pretty much idolatry. How he said it, y'all some idolatrous niggas. I swear that was his exact words. These niggas, man. Let's go Luke, man. Let's get the Luke on, on, on the, the Pharisees, the, the heads with the laws and how they was treating Yahweh Shai. Let's get to that. Luke 23 and 4. Let's get there. Luke 23 and 4. Then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault with this man. And they were the more fierce, saying, He stir up, up the people, teaching throughout all Judah, Judah, beginning with Galilee and in this place. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked whether the man were Galatian. And as soon as he knew, that he belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who himself also was at Jerusalem at the time. And when Herod saw Yahweh, he was exceedingly glad. See, they done turned him over to have um Herod that was trying to slew him from a baby. For he was um, desirous to see him a long season because he had heard many things of him and he had hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. Then he questioned with him in many words by he answering him nothing. And the chief priest, see look, and the chief priest that knew the laws and the scribes stood and vehemently accused him. See? And Herod with his men of war set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a, in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. And the same day Pilate and Herod were made friends together for before they were an enmity between them. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers of the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people. And behold, I, having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man, touching those things whereof ye accuse him. No, nor yet, Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. And I, I will therefore chasten him and release him. See, the, the, they, they, they talk about releasing him. But let's see what the, the people that knew the law said. Let's see what the people that knew the law said. For of necessity, he must release one unto them at the feast. And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas, who for a certain sedition made in the city for a murder and cast into prison. Pilate Therefore, willing to release Yahweh spake again unto them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them a third time. He's arguing with the law of the people that knew the law. And he said unto them the third time, Why? What evil have he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chasten him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voices requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and the chief priests prevail. They taught Pilate into crucifying him. The people that knew the law. Man, get out of here, man. You dudes don't make no sense, man. Don't make no sense. You can look at this one, Isaiah 53 and 5. Let's get that. Isaiah 53 and 5. And shame on you, you dudes, man, because you dudes know the scriptures, man. You being real slick, being real, real slick and deceitful with guile, man. You guys are being real deceitful, man. 
Let's go Isaiah 53 and 4. Surely he have borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Isaiah 53 and 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. See? How you get around that, man? He, he went through what he went through for us, man. The law it, on its, in itself is not going to save you, man. It's not going to save you. You guys, man, you guys, man, out here teaching teaching this, these, these, these wayward doctrines, man. Let's go um, Jeremiah 12 and 6. For even thy brethren and the house of thy father, even they have dealt treacherously with thee. Yea, they have called a multitude after thee. Believe them not. Though they speak fair words unto thee. Yeah, man. Gotta watch these guys, man. You have to watch these guys out here, man. Let's get loot. Couple more and we gonna get out of here, man. Yeah, man. It, it, this definitely, man. Is If you believe in Yah by Shem, Yahweh Shai. And you believe that Yahweh Shai endured everything for us. And I ain't even go to Hebrews 8, 8 and 6. A, a better covenant. Because the first covenant was faulty, roughly paraphrasing. I ain't even go to that because they talking about the book of Hebrews is, is, is you can't really substantiate it. But if you have faith and belief in Yah Bashem Yah and the fact that he was crucified for us, you should be offended by these niggas out here saying that we could keep the law and we don't really need to worship Yahweh Shai. And what he went through wasn't all that important for our salvation. Madness, man. That's madness, man. That's pure madness, man. This is a um Luke chapter Luke chapter eleven and fifty-three. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently and to provoke him to speak of many things. Why? Laying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. This is what this is what the Lord, the Lord, the, the people who are the Lord did, man. They sit around trying to like, like your boy doing his his law live stream tonight. Sitting around trying to look for something to go see. He transgressed the law. He tried, he went against the law. Even though he said, I come not to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill. These guys, man, I don't see how they don't understand, man. I don't see how they don't understand. And they came up under Great Millstone. I don't see how they don't get it, man. And they've been in this 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 uh, truth longer than me. I don't see how they don't get that, man. I don't see how they don't get that, man. I really don't. This is um, John chapter 25. I mean, it's like it. John 20 and 25. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the prints of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand inside, I will not believe. See? This is the this is this is the 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 the, the same people that didn't believe, man, is back, man. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Yahweh Shai, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst of them, in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. And he, and he saith, Then saith he to Thomas, Salakia, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. These guys ain't got no belief, man. And when Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my power, Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. 
Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. See, these guys don't believe, man. Sakari do not believe, man. Sakari do not believe, man. Let's close it out with this one right here. Sakari do not do not believe, man. So this nonsense, they talking nonsense, man. And y'all got to discern. These dudes is, is a false prophet false prophets man let's go let's go first Corinthians let's start at 10 2 and 10 first Corinthians 2 and 10 but the most high hath revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit search of all things yea the deep things of the most high the spirit search that not the law for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of, of Yahweh knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man, this is a card right here, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can they know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judge of all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. See? For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he might instruct him? But we have the mind of a Mashiach. They don't have the mind of a Mashiach, man. They have the mind of the Pharisees back in the days that was looking for ways to trip Yahweh Shai up by, by asking him questions according to the law. So this is what Sicarius back in, the Dagaman, the murderers, Sicarios. So yeah, man, this one, this one, the irritating, man, this is, they, they irritating, man. They saying that Yahweh Shai endured this for nothing, man. This, this is for naught, man. The crucifixion of Yahweh Shah was for nothing, man. These dudes, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah, with that one, man, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rukha Kadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations. Keep pushing his word to the remnant. Men, women, children. Remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yasharab. And abide, bye-bye. Barakatham, family. Shalom.